All right, we'll come back. Uh, let's take a look at our current lighting situation. I think the light needs some improvement. We have no lights coming from the hair, which makes the hair looks weird. So what we can do now is go to the lights. We have only one light here and go down to the light section, go open the advanced. And for the cascade shadows, uh, we kind of wanted to make it not bias that much. So I'm gonna drag, I'm gonna drag that back down so that we have some proper shadowing happening to the hair, which makes it that much more realistic. Cool, it's definitely better. And moving on from there, then we can talk about the skin material. Um, so right click here, we can create a new material now. I'm gonna name this guy Skin Material Base. And again, just double click to open it. Uh, we have three images we can use already. Just select them all and drag them drag them into the graph. Uh, so for the base color, it's gonna go to the base color, of course. Okay. For the AO roughness metallic, uh, AO goes to here, roughness goes to here, and metallic goes to here. And then normal map, of course, goes to the normal map. Okay. And the shader will be a skin shader. So we're gonna grab the shader and then change it, change the shading mode to subsurface profile. Right, uh, the subsurface profile will give us um, the default uh, skin kind of like uh, subsurface scattering, but we could give it a profile uh, when we wanted to. But before we uh, finish this though, I want to have a few more controls. Let me holding down M and click to create a multiply. And then I'm going to multiply that with the RGB color and holding down V button and click to create a color node and change that to skin malt as the parameter name. Default setting will be a white color in this case and result goes to the base color. So we're able to maybe, you know, tweak the color later on. Oh, and also the alpha channel of this, uh, of this color is actually the scattering. Uh, if you can take a look at the settings here inside of Substance Painter, uh, when we're choosing the Unreal Engine for SSS, the A channel or upper channel is scattering for the base color. Um, so that means we can connect that, of course, to the uh, opacity. In this case, when you change the shader to skin shader inside of Unreal, this opacity is actually uh, the input for scattering. Something kind of weird. <laughs> anyway, and we can add more controls here. Holding down M and click to create a multiply, a multiply here. I'm gonna connect that G channel to multiply. Holding down S and click to create a parameter. And this one will be called um, uh, roughness multiplier. And that will have a default value of one and max will be four and then the result goes to the B. The reason I choose four here is just to be able to go further if I wanted to, and that goes to the roughness. No? Okay. And then metallic is should be black, so we could actually not connect that uh, if you wanted to. Uh, maybe I can, I can hold it on S and then click to create another parameter, and that goes to the specular. Okay, default value is one, mean is zero, max is one. Okay, I guess that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this and save, of course. All right, with that being created, we can now right click in the content browser, go to material and textures. We can create something called, oops, it's not really that easy to see there. Uh, so right click here, right, material and Textures, whoops, it's even <laughs> harder to see. Uh, maybe I can drag the content browser to the top. Right click, material and textures. Uh, here maybe. And we choose this uh, subsurface profile here. We can call this guy skin SSS profile. Okay. And this is gonna be the one goes to our skin material. So we're gonna right click here and create a material instance. And we can call this guy um, skin material instance. And then that goes to the skin, of course. You can see that's how it looks like. And then we can, uh, yeah, double click to open it. 
and then there is a profile for us to drag in. So I'm going to drag this guy in here to use it. Uh, this is basically using the default setting for now. Uh, you can see a little bit of a uh, subsurface scattering on the sh uh, shadow. You can see a little bit of uh, a little bit of the red bleeding. What we can do here now is double click to open it, and we can change the scatter radius. You can see it's basically changing uh, the scattering a little bit. Change that to zero. It's not really changing that much. Uh, let's take a look at the base. Uh, let's assign it here too, just to make sure that it's going through. I guess uh, maybe that's because our scattering is also controlled. Or you know what? It's it's okay now. Maybe I was forgetting to compile it. <laughs> anyway, back here to our profile. Now you can see we can drag this slider to control how much subsurface scattering is going on. So I want a little bit of a bleeding, but not that much. The default setting is for the skin, so if you want it to be realistic, just use the default settings. I want to have a little bit more fleshy look, so I'm gonna drag that down, drag that up actually a little bit to make the subsurface scattering more visible. Okay, and while we're at it, we can go to the skin material base. Let me drag the content down to the bottom. <laughs> okay, zoom in a little bit closer. I think the roughness is a bit too shiny here, so we can go to the uh, the instance and check on specular and roughness. Maybe I can make the specular a bit lower and roughness a bit higher. Okay. All right, that feels better. And again, it's just a matter of tweaking those values. Maybe I can have just a little bit more. Uh, you can see how we are having a lot of red color bleeding inside of the shadows. Yeah, that's basically what the scattering is. Okay. All right. One thing you do see that Unreal keep doing is it's changing the exposure a lot when you're getting close or further away. So. Uh, to prevent that, you can go to the lit and check out the game setting here for the exposure. And that way it's going to use the default. And then you can drag it up and down to get a different exposure. Maybe I want it to be a bit darker here. right? That, that way I can see the skin better. And in, and in that case, then the hair is too dark. So I'm going to go to the hair material. And then maybe make the hair color or scattering higher to make the hair more visible. Yeah, that's definitely much better. And maybe the spec specular can be higher, higher too. Cool. I don't want to have any overexposed area. That's why I'm trying to tweak it. Okay. Nice. So that's gonna be the other setting. Oh, there's one more thing actually. <laughs> if we go to this view, and have a light in here, you can see. Well, there's no hair. That's because the hair is actually one sided. So we need to go ahead and double click to open the hair material base. And then we need to check on one thing, which is to set it, and then apply and save it. Okay, so the hair will be able to be seen from even this angle. All right, cool. So that's going to be another little tweak to make the hair better. And let's move on to the next video. We talk about the, the eye shader. Okay, see you next time.